hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i want to share with you guys a very short story of something that happened to me that totally changed my life if you're interested in this story please do not go anywhere because we're going to get right into it if you're new here thank you for being here my name is angel okoli and for my returning subscribers i love you guys so much thank you for being here so please make sure you hit the subscribe button and let's get right into the story So it all started in November 2021. I was writing exams and it was a struggle. Till today, I don't know how I was able to actually pass those exams because I was scared, I was depressed, I was seeing a therapist as, as at when I was writing my exams. And then fast forward to December 2021, I had just come out of a relationship. Like I couldn't really explain how I was feeling to anybody at that time. You know but i was trying so hard to deal with everything i was trying to drown myself in work i was going to work practically every day until i eventually broke down on the 21st of december i was rushed to the hospital after doing um some tests and you know waiting for them to tell me what was going on i started shivering like it felt like my eyes were going inside i was like halfway through it felt like i was going to faint so the doctors had to rush me down to the ER. I was there and the only thing I could think of was what was going on? What exactly is the problem? This is not how I planned my Christmas to be. This is not how I wanted my year to end. I was praying, I was telling God that please, I don't want to be here for Christmas because that was like the first time in a very long time that I would actually find myself in the hospital. The only thing I could do was to just pray. Two days later, I started feeling a bit better you know i could eat i could have conversations because my sister was with me so later that evening i went to the bathroom to try to freshen up and then after i peed i noticed that there was blood on the tissue and it wasn't close to my period so i didn't really understand like it was confusing but i just told myself that it was nothing to worry about and then i came back to my bed i lay back down and then one hour later i could still feel the blood like coming out from my body and before i knew it started bleeding from my nose my sister had to rush um she had to rush outside to call the nurses and then they called the doctors and then they came they kept bleeding i was coughing out blood like like it was literally blood was just coming from everywhere i was so scared you guys and then halfway through the pain i practically went unconscious I don't even remember what happened to the next day this is like a near death experience because how do i not have any memory whatsoever of what happened to me for the remaining hours while they were tending to me and all that so it made me realize that this life that we're living <laughs> it's extremely fragile it's something that should not be taken for granted eventually the doctors came in and then i had to ask questions i tried to understand what really happened but nobody had a very good explanation he just said so many things that didn't really make sense to me but i just had to let it go because i didn't want to probe i didn't want to ask too many questions i didn't want to be scared i didn't want to relieve that moment again i already told the doctor that please that i do not want to stay here on the 24th neither do i want to spend christmas in the hospital and then later that evening i was discharged i left went home um and the bleeding continued it was pointless going back to the hospital because these same people could not even explain to me exactly what happened to me in the first place eventually i had to go home because my mom got so worried i was referred to a specialist and he did some some tests and at the end of the day he gave me drugs which I started taking. I kept praying to God because I already knew that there is a whole lot of things I wanted to achieve. Like there are so many things I have planned out in my head. My life cannot just end this way. I had faith that everything was going to be all right, you know, and then I kept promising God that if I should get through this, I promise to live my life. I promise to live it to the fullest. I promise I'm going to be grateful. I promise that I'm going to stay happy. You know, I kept making lots of promises and I kept praying and asking God. And then four days later into taking the drugs that the ENT doctor gave me, I noticed that the bleeding ceased. It was one of the happiest moments of my life. On the 5th of January, I came back home and then I resumed my regular life. This experience made me reevaluate my life you know it made me sit down to actually think about the things i wanted and i realized that i've 
practically just been existing. I haven't been living my life as much as I would want to. Because I kept asking myself, what if something had happened to me? What if that was my last day on earth? What would people actually remember me for? You know, all the, all the things I was trying to gather, all the things I was trying to save up for, everything I was trying to be careful with, everything is just going to end like... I would have no story and then i told myself that one of the things i'm going to do is to stop worrying i'm going to stop worrying about a whole lot of things especially the things i cannot control and actually try to live and not just exist i wanted to do everything i love i wanted to fulfill most of my dreams and even the ones that scare me i was ready to do them scared i won't lie it hasn't been easy i had to pick myself up i had to dust myself off from the ground so right now as we're approaching another new year, I am grateful that I am alive. I am grateful that I can record this video right now. I am grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my very good friends. I'm grateful for my newfound family. You, my subscribers, watching this video right now. I'm grateful for everything that has happened in my life so far. I'm grateful for all the little things I've been able to achieve. I look forward to what next year will look like. I look forward to living a life that's so fulfilling like all the days of my life i just want to be happy i just want to live i just want to be able to see life from a whole lot of perspective i don't want to be rigid with my thinking anymore i don't want to be rigid with the things i do i just want to be free i just want to be happy and somehow i'm no longer scared of the idea of death because we're all gonna die one day and I think the fear of death is actually something that keeps a whole lot of people stuck in a position. We're all going to die. So it's better to actually live your life while you're still alive. You need to stop existing. It's time for you to start living. Love yourself more. Take care of yourself. Eat what you want. Go out more often. Take lots of pictures. Start that business. Start the YouTube channel start your content creation journey leave the things that don't serve you and just seek happiness and peace that's exactly what i'm doing in my life right now and i have plans to live every day like it's my last so take time out today reevaluate your life find out the things that makes you unhappy and let them go find the things that don't serve you anymore and move past them it's time for you to be happy it's time for you to live life. It's time for you to enjoy life. It's time for you to be grateful. It's time for you to actually pursue peace and happiness. So I hope that this video would always be a reminder for you guys to live your life. Live it to the fullest because you just have one life and you need to actually live. I'm so grateful for you guys. I'm so grateful for the love that you guys have shown me this past couple of months since i started my channel and i hope that this channel will continue to inspire each and every one of you watching this video right now i love you guys so much thank you for watching this video have a beautiful christmas compliments of the season guys love you all mm -hmm.